everyone, welcome to this new video to learn how to integrate uh, Marketing Cloud with Data Cloud. So we will run through the process. So first I will click on the gear and click Data Cloud. And then I will go into configuration and I will set uh, Marketing Cloud. Then within Marketing Cloud, I will log in to my org, my Marketing Cloud instance. And I just need this to up. So I'm correctly uh, connected. And then I will set up uh, uh, the bundle. So I'm not sure if I will be able to install the bundle, but a bundle is basically a template. So in this case, I will uh, I will only set up, uh, well, like I will set up all of them, but I could have set up only uh, email. Then I will select a business unit to uh, manage uh, data. So I will choose my business unit, Arthur business unit. And after we have another option, which is enable contact to business unit uh, to use this feature. And after I will click active, ah, I cannot activate it oh, because it, it must be not a row. Um, but then I can select a business unit to activate. So here I will come back and select my business unit to activate. And now that should be like the connector should be set up. So just as a feedback, it would be nice to have a button here to validate the process um, because I'm one. I'm not one on here. Okay. Okay. So I can go back now into uh, my data streams, and then if I click new. I'm now able to see the marketing cloud connector. So that was the first step in order to see the marketing cloud connector. I can click next. Uh, I will uh, choose a data space, so it will be default. And here, default. A data space is where, um, like a bucket for your team and for your data. So if you have different brands, for example, you can get different spaces. Uh, here, I would be interested to have email studio only. And um, as you can see here, if I choose my business unit, I will also be able to select uh, some specific data extension. Uh, but in our case, I will keep a bundle and I will keep Email Studio as a bundle. Okay, so here are all the fields that will be imported. Uh, and then I can click Next. I can choose like the way the data will be uh, ingested. So it will be a full refresh. So every time it will be brand new information within the system, uh, like an overwrite of like the information and the schedule will be on a daily basis. I can click Deploy. And here, if everything goes well, I should be able to import my data from Data Cloud. So it can take a small amount of time to process. Um, but once it will be processed, I should be able to have my data stream that I will then uh, map uh, to my uh, data lake object and then my data um, my um, data model object. So I will just come back to you once it's loaded. So as you can see here, the deployment is done. Um, so I will be able to click on data stream here. And I should get a range of new Marketing Cloud data stream here. Uh, so this will allow us to have an overview, really, of all our Marketing Cloud instance uh, that is uh, now coming through uh, Data Cloud. And as you can see, I have a total of 18 new data stream only for um, the Email Studio section of Data Cloud. We can expand that to uh, Mobile Connect and Mobile Push by using uh, the bundle. But also, we can go uh, one step further and synchronize the data extension. Uh, now, what I will do is I will check my data lake object, and I should have these objects that are now added as well. Uh, as you can see, the total record here is zero, uh, but in fact, it will take a few minutes, if not hours, to populate within the system. So what I can do is I can click, for example, on, uh, I think one that would be interesting is this one, contact point email and subscriber. So we will go through both of these, and we will see uh, the way it works. As it's a bundle, uh, I believe Data Cloud will automatically map um, these uh, objects uh, and attri attribute fields that are within it here with my data model object. So I can click on Review here to review the mapping. And as you can see, like most of my objects are already mapped. So as you can see here, it's the field from my data lake object. So the data that I pull from Marketing Cloud, and it's already connected to my uh, contact point email data model object within uh, Data Cloud. And if I have a look at the subscriber object, so I will click on review as well, and we will be able to see um, the way it's mapped. So here, this is my Salesforce Marketing Cloud subscriber object that, that is ingested. And here we can see that it's connect connected directly to my individual object through the primary key and also to the party identification, which allow me to identify my individual within Data Cloud. So that's pretty much it. If I click on data model, it will be interesting to have a look um, so do I have, yep, I have my data model object that are mapped here. And I will just change the view as a graph uh, to see how my objects relate 
to um, to uh, the individual object. So as you can see, the individual object is here, and I will have a lot of information, such as how they engage to my email, what's the topic that they react to, and what's the campaign associated with. I can see also the email publication and the journey that are related. So that's pretty much it, how you can import and connect Marketing Cloud to Data Cloud uh, using the out-of-the-box Marketing Cloud connector that is available within Data Cloud. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.